All right, so I'm down in my crawl space right now. Um, this is where the battery bank is going to be directly behind the cameras. And off to the right hand side here, well, my right, you guys, to the left, is going to be the inverter panel, which is going to hook up to the battery bank itself. Um, so I'll show you that process. And I'm going to build a box with some insulation because it gets pretty cold down here. I think it's about 36 degrees and needs to be about. 55 degrees and then off to my right is going to be our inverter system that's going to power the rest of our house so i'll show you that So what I'm doing is I'm hooking these batteries up in, uh, I believe, parallel or in series. So you go from a positive terminal to a negative terminal, and then from a positive to a negative, and then from a positive to a negative, all the way on, so on and so forth, all the way till you come to the, the other first battery here. There will be a negative terminal. Uh, and a positive terminal that are left open and that's what these two leads go to and those two leads go to my inverter here So they're all connected now, and I just have to go through and tighten down each one of these nuts and bolts before I actually connect it to the uh, two terminals here. I've uh, actually already zapped myself. <laughs> batteries connected in uh, series or in parallel. It's time to uh, power this guy up, see what happens. Alright, well, nothing's blowing up. Got a green light which means we're good to go. All of our diagnostics systems are rolling. So, now it is time to power the house. Or I guess, wire the house. Alrighty, so, I've got, I think it was 28 feet of this four connector 10 gauge wire that will hook into my circuit breaker, go down through the wall, and then into my uh, battery bank inverter down there. So hopefully I have everything uh, figured out and I've done everything properly, because if not, we're not going to have power for 
a little while. So wish me luck as I go through this process. I know the uh, very basic concept of electricity. And hopefully I don't burn down the house or kill myself. This is the moment of truth. Send this wire and down to the cross piece here. Alright, I'll be back. You gotta pull it down. Time to feed this length of wire down there. Hopefully, I got enough. We got a jam. Let's go downstairs. Alrighty. So after some finagling, we're able to finally fit that thing all the way down in there. So I've got my neutral, my two hots, my red and my black, and my ground is going up to my ground bar because my breaker panel is missing that for the ground. I'm not sure what that's called. Don't know if I need that to be up to code. But everything is hooked up. I got all my breakers. Turn all my breakers off. Let's go downstairs and do the same for my inverter. All right, so this is the uh, bottom of my inverter here. And this is where the cable is going to connect to my circuit breaker. Feed it through here, but first I want to see how much I need. So I gotta go to the ground neutral. L1, L2, 
should be quite similar. Oops. So now we got this. See the blue cord coming out? Now I've got to connect my ground, my neutral, and my two hots to those bus bars. I don't know if you guys will be able to see because it's fairly dark in here. Oh, you ready? Sure. All right, let's see. Let's do a living room. All right, fan spinning. Bathroom fans on. Oh yeah. We are running off of a battery bank. I'm excited. I'm happy. Kind of, kind of know what I'm doing, but kind of flying by the seat of my pants with some bare bone instructions. That's what this channel is going to be all about. Doing stuff when I have no know-how. Just a basic understanding. I'll see you guys.